Every time you're on, we talk about whether there's some rebuilding and some, some positive signs in, in what is usually uh, a kind of a depressing um, performance. Are there positive signs here? Is, how's it, we got a new guy, a new new guy. Uh, Culp doing the right things, you think, Jack? Well, I think it's very positive that he settled the, uh, the Department of Justice suit. And uh, I think it's imperative that he, that he settled the SEC suit or have it dismissed as quickly as possible. Because one of the things that led us to sell the shares 15 months ago was we lost confidence in the reporting. And we were concerned about the, the SEC investigation because uh, part of it relates to revenue recognition in the services business. And that's a huge part of the business, Joe. So what if that went, what if the worst case scenario came to pass? What, what does that look like? Is it, it's prior management, but what are they, or is it prior management that it, it, it would be held responsible or the, the company would be fined or how would that, what does that look like if, it, if it's not settled? Well, if it's not settled, investors will continue to lack the confidence they need to invest in the shares. So they're going to languish down here. And, you know, Steve Grasso's comments probably pretty correct that it's binary. You either think it's going to go bankrupt or you think it's a long term buy here. That's actually so that's the that's. Well, the, the whole thing the, is you're not looking at the numbers uh, as you would a traditional stock on a day to day basis. There's, there's been so much that's been done in this that you're waiting for this to be a, a, a literally a power play from this point. So I, it's reached peak pessimism. And now you're starting to see people say, OK, if we can get some a little bit of momentum behind us, maybe we could have a little bit of a tailwind. What, so, but Jack, so if you get the regulatory stuff or, you know, these, this legacy stuff out of the way, I mean, that still doesn't make power's results any better, does it? Well, are, what if power doesn't recover? Or you just figure it's cyclical and it eventually comes back? Well, it's a cyclical business, but I think you could argue it's, it's heading into secular decline. And uh, I, I think what, what uh, Larry Culp needs to do is to give investors some confidence that we're at or near a bottom in the power business and that he's got a strategy to, to, to carry that business through what could be a modest secular decline, but getting the margins he needs to bring back some earnings and some cash flow. Margins in that business are, are less than half of what the, the corporate average is. And, you know, with carrying uh, almost $100 billion in debt and a, a, a pension that's underfunded by 20-some billion, he needs cash flow. And power will be 50% of sales after all of the announced spinoffs and, and, and uh, uh, sales are completed. And you can't have half of your sales coming from a business that's potentially in decline and has very low margins. So we're up pretty substantially now, almost 5% now. You attribute that to the settlement? What, what did the settlement relate to? What does that get out of the way? Uh, Joe, I, I don't know the details of that settlement, so I'm probably not the best guy to ask that question. But that you think that's what the stock is, is trading on? If you well, I, I think that and the better revenues. That and the better revenues, because GE's missed something like 10 of the last 12 quarters. And, you know, revenues are, if you can't get revenues moving, you can't get free cash flow and earnings moving. So it's certainly a positive sign that they beat on revenues. There's a couple of, uh, I mean, Steve, there was the, the long-term care overhang right. for how much that was going to cost. That was like, people didn't even know about that, right? And then there was the way they booked the service revenues. They took a lot of, I, I think they like played I, mean, it, I think that's a, a major headwind when you start to look at the accounting uh, regularities or, or how they've booked certain things in the past or in the present. But the truth is, I think this is an 80% play as you started off the interview with the new new guy. This is the an 80% play on Culp. And he's been given the benefit of the doubt. And we haven't really seen that kitchen sink approach that we've seen so many times before. So I do think that this is the first step of hopefully many more positive steps for GE. You can't imagine it getting much worse than it was a handful of months ago.